he became a free agent, and his agent then was Rob Palenka. So I met them in Orange County in a hotel room, and he said he wanted to come to Memphis and play. I really? Said, well, there, you, right? And I looked at him, I said, right. you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> and he said, no. And I said, Kobe, no, no. You belong somewhere out here, mm -hmm. okay? And even though he would have never played there, I just That's wanted easy. to reassure him that don't feel like you have any obligation with me or the Grizzlies to play here. I guess in some sense that might have been tampering. I didn't look at tampering because he was at our house all the time. He ate at my house all the time. I felt more like a, a father figure with him. I had a wonderful relationship with him. Forget it as a basketball player. I love what he stood for his commitment to excellence. He wasn't afraid of failing. Once you get afraid of failing, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. He was not afraid. You know, when people talk about presence of basketball operations and GMs and the people that I feel like have been the ones that have really represented the NBA in the best way, is the ones that have the close relationship with players like Pat Riley down in Miami. Pat Riley is a basketball patriarch. The Pat Riley coaching tree, executive tree, player tree exists down there in Miami. He has a great relationship with his players going all the way back to when he was coaching the Showtime Lakers in the 80s. Jerry West is another one of those guys. He is someone who is revered in the Los Angeles Lakers organization and took that to the Memphis Grizzlies where he had success there as well. Now he's come back. And the fact that like he was that protective over a player that would have benefited his team, he understood that Kobe Bryant needed to be in one of the biggest parts of the ecosystem. And Memphis is not... No offense to Memphis, but that's just not the media market for a star like Kobe Bryant. Kevin McHale kind of did the exact same thing when he was a GM of the Minnesota Timberwolves and KG finally said, hey, I'm pulling my Dame Lillard. I want to get traded. And where did Kevin McHale send him? He sent him to the place that sent him to the Hall of Fame, which is the Boston Celtics, because he understood as well on the other side, this is where you need to be. And that is when they start talking about the NBA being rigged and they pick where people go and we've had the Chris Paul trade get negated from Kobe Bryant I mean from the Lakers that's what people are doing they're trying to put these guys in these media markets where they're going to have success like you look at Anthony Edwards right now he has a chance to possibly be in the MVP conversation this upcoming season he's shown that he's not only getting better on the court but you know he has acting range off the court that is not a star that needs to be in Minnesota he is going to end up in a bigger media market because that's what's best for the league. It just always seems to work out like that. Who do y'all think is a player that needs to be in a bigger market than he is currently? Let me know in the comments. You on Instagram, click the link up top. You on YouTube, click the link in the box. I'm out to pond. Y'all stay true. Oh, oh, oh.